um, I did find something extremely, extremely valuable. I mean, this is like worth gold. Look, how's it closing? Mm -hmm. What is up guys? Good morning and welcome back to a new episode from Backyard Boys. If you guys are new to this channel, please lightly tap that subscribe button down below and don't forget to turn on your post notifications. And welcome back actually to another beautiful, beautiful sunny hot day here in Washington. It is super nice, probably like 80 degrees outside. Uh, don't mind the cold, I'm just kind of look cold. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and debunk the question of will this Audi S4 over here fire up we did get this new part over here from ebay and this is actually what is broken right there and it's right here so we don't need this whole entire um whatever this thing is we don't need that we're just gonna go ahead and unscrew it right there and slap it on over here and then we're gonna yank this belt out of here and see if we can put the new serpentine belt on and fire this thing up and also we're gonna go ahead and put the car on the frame machine i'll show you guys a couple of things that started coming in for the car that way we can get working on it we still are waiting for headlights but hopefully those come in sometime soon this is the reinforcement bar over there everything is dealer parts here's a radiator over there we got the front bumper and the radiator support that's the majority of the parts that we need we actually do have the hood as well which is outside that's the majority of the parts we need to get this thing on the frame machine and start pulling it start seeing how things are lining up how things are matching up make sure everything fits but without further ado guys let's go ahead and change that part out and oh man i told you guys earlier this weather is just killing us but it is what it is we got to keep working getting things done so let's get that puppy switched out let's do it let's go. minor interruption boys we just had to run down to o'reilly's pick up a torque set 12-sided torque set basically a star bit to unscrew that over there uh because we don't have it so let's get back to work Anyways, we have gotten all the belts on and it's time to go ahead and put this uh, radiator on. That way when we start up the transmission fluid won't freaking fly out just like that. And then we're gonna quickly haul it up onto the frame machine and start working in some good, better lighting and some good heat. Let's go. Anyways, we got everything on and everything is ready to go ahead and run the car up on the frame machine. And since it's dark outside, I'm gonna go ahead and set the time lapse up right here. That way you guys can just see what we're doing. And then I'll catch you guys when we start clamping down the car or anyways, just start working on it on the frame machine. Anyways guys, we have gotten it fired up and drove up to the frame machine by itself. So the motor seems to be all good, but we can't run it for too long because it has no coolant. So go ahead and cut it off right now. So yeah, I was on for maybe like a 30 seconds or something. Um, nothing seems to be leaking or anything. I had to pull all of these up because nothing is tight and it was like, you know, there's barely any room, but luckily this car is not on springs or anything because otherwise we would have been screwed. We would have to put some kind of blocks or something. But yeah, I'm so pumped, man. You guys don't know the feeling when the car is already on the frame machine, 
and especially when it's clamped down like everything's like all all the hard stuff is done now it just comes to pulling and measuring i just love that whole process man went ahead and pulled the radiators off and um a little bit of tranny fluid dripped out over there we're gonna go ahead and fill it back up but let's take a better look at this frame look at that thing it opened up over there seems like we got some funny stuff over there but it's basically ready to start pulling now i'm super happy that the motor actually fired up with no problems at at least what we know for now until we assemble the whole entire car and i mean it sounded healthy i'm just gonna be honest with you it sounded healthy it sounded good um i did find something extremely extremely valuable i mean this is like worth gold look at this vape man this thing is sick <laughs> garbage anyways um that's that so right now we're gonna continue pulling well right now we're clamping down the car as under there taking off the uh guards the plastic guards under the car and then we're gonna clamp the car down make sure the car doesn't move when we start pulling the frame yeah so let's keep working All right guys, we have gotten the car clamped down and it is ready to start pulling. I just wanna show you guys the old reinforcement bar and look at that thing. Definitely took some kind of impact there. And then you got this like weird aluminum overlapping over here. So uh, we're not gonna start pulling tonight. We're actually gonna do it the next time we're here. So I'll catch you guys the next time we are here. All right guys, well, I don't know where we left off last, but all I remember is the car is now on the frame machine. It's clamped down and is ready to start pulling. It's about a week and a half later now. As you guys can tell, it looks a little bit different because of all the snow. And we've actually pulled out a couple cars this morning already because that corner right there is extremely, extremely icy. And if I do get any footage, I'll drop it in the video. Just show you guys how icy that is. Did he knock down the mailbox and knock down a sign? But let's go back inside the shop. It's freezing cold out here pretty darn cold i went ahead and turned on the propane heater inside the shop so we should be chilling it's getting a little warmer but still you can clearly see that it's negative 48 look at that name all right go ahead and set this time lapse up start measuring we got all our parts majority of the headlights came that's exactly what we we're waiting for actually the headlights because i mean we can set the gaps up without the headlight technically but it's obviously better to go ahead and proof it make sure everything fits make sure you know things match up evenly i'm the type of guy that will measure seven times and weld once rather than the opposite so without further ado let's get this thing set up start getting the you know, we'll move the post to where we need it to to the proper angle to get this right here um, pushed out that way because it seems to be that this frame row is pretty straight but we're not going to count on it just yet because we do, we do have some markings here. We got a little funny bend right here. And I hope you guys can hear me with that propane heater still going. Dude, that thing's barely lighting up. It's so cold in here. Usually those things are like fire red, but let's go. Anyways, forgot to mention that before we pull the frame, uh, we're actually gonna go ahead and change this pulley. You guys can kind of see it's chipped down over here. And then we got this high pressure fuel pump sensor. Uh, we're gonna change as well because it's broken right over there. And then once all this miscellaneous stuff is done, we're gonna pull the frame.
All right, guys. Well, it's time to start pulling the frame. We got that pulley changed out. It's brand new right over there. And we got this sensor changed out. It's brand new as well. So what we got here is basically an automotive belt. That way it doesn't leave any ugly marks or anything when you chain. Because usually a lot of people just chain the frame rail. So it leaves like ugly indents from the chain since the chain is pretty darn harsh. But we got this belt right here and it's a comfortable belt. Makes no pulling marks and everything beautiful. So right now what we're going to start doing is I already kind of pumped it up. You can see it's a little bit of pressure here. And what I did is actually I set up a laser right here because so I set up a laser. I'll show you right there, just kind of on the frame rail right here. See that laser? And let me explain the reason for the laser. Um, it's not like to make final measurements or anything it's like that. But oftentimes when you're pulling the frame, the frame moves so slow, it's like so gradual and it's hard to tell how much the frame rail actually moves. And then when you release the frame rail, it moves back like two, three inches. Well, it depends on how much you pull it, obviously. So that right there, this laser actually helps me kind of guide. So I know I set it right there and then when it moves, I'll release it and it'll move back to that. I'll kind of measure the distance between the laser where it was and where it is. And that way I can tell how much the frame actually moved. So that's what we got to do now. And then we're going to go ahead and test fit the new reinforcement bar up to it and then measure diagonally across, measure aprons, measure everything. Make sure the reinforcement bar slides on or not the reinforcement bar, uh, the radius support slides on and everything fits excellent. I'm so pumped. Let's get this thing done and out of here and painted and assembled. Woo! You can see this laser right here, this laser bead is moving. It was right here. So it moved already about inch and three quarters about. Uh, we're gonna move all the way about to here because it's gonna release and shoot back to right around there. Also, while all of this stuff is happening, you gotta uh, take in account all of these uh, points that have been damaged, just like that. All that stuff is basically important to, as you're working with the metal, you gotta be tapping everything, trying to get everything realigned to how it was prior to the accident. Constantly checking, making sure that everything is free, nothing is caught up. That way this does not damage anything that we don't need to be damaged. Another thing is you don't want to over pull because if you over pull, <laughs> now you got to set this leg up on the other side and pull the other way. So. Make sure things are free here. Make sure things are not in the way. Probably got to start tapping this in a little bit. It didn't open up at the bottom, so it's good. Start tapping this in a little bit, but let me see. Scoot back a little bit. Let me see how it just kind of, what I do is I kind of just make it like physically look decently straight. And then we start realizing and put the reinforcement bar. Our goal right now is to match up these bolts with these right here on the reinforcement bar. So that's what we're going to do right now. How we do that is also basically measure from this bolt to this bolt on the reinforcement bar and then roughly get it closer here, bolt the reinforcement bar up and we can start pulling both the frame rails if this one is off at all. So definitely needs more pulling, easily, easily can tell. All right, well, you saw that this line right here was way over here, so we moved it about pretty close to three inches. Still needs to go a lot more. We're gonna put this line probably over here because when it releases, it's gonna jump back to here. Okay, that looks pretty good right there. Um, if you can kind of tell from the top, you can, you know, you can sort of see it's much more straighter than it was. But don't forget this is gonna jump back a lot and you guys can tell that this is already getting pinched together without us doing anything at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and move it just a hair more, start tapping that piece place up here, making this flush and then release it and see what it likes to do. I'm liking it right now. What I'm gonna do is grab a hammer. Just gonna reach in there and tap this thing closed. Bulb out of the way. How's it closing? Mm -hmm. okay, so. Chop. You don't want to, yeah, you don't want to. Oh, there, it's basically closed. 
and you don't want to hit it too much because this actually needs to be pinched back too. So we're gonna grab a big pair of pliers somewhere here. We got a big pair of pliers somewhere. Anyway, this one's not huge, but right here. Yeah, that's it. Here you go. <laughs> so this one's not huge, but this should do the job. And we're gonna go ahead and pinch it, kind of to work with it. There you go. So look at that. So it's technically close, right? And now here's the moment of truth, guys. Watch, watch this line right here as I release this um, this pedal. So watch this. Ready? And releasing. So, like I said, it's gonna jump back right around there. And it was about there. So if you measure that, that's probably gonna be about an inch and a half. So pretty crazy. With that being said, that's pretty crazy. Right now, what we gotta do is grab the reinforcement bar, measure it, the new one obviously, measure it from bolt to bolt, and then line that up decently, put it on, and then start working from there. So I'm gonna put you guys on time lapse as we do that. Let's go. We have gotten some pulling done and definitely not all of it. We ran into a stupid problem, which is, this is literally what pisses me off about auctions and people at the insurance companies. Like when I worked at the insurance company, I would drop all the bolts into baggies and into the car because of reasons like this. So here we need a bolt that goes from here to the bottom of the rebar. It's about, what is that, like six, five inches long. And let me show you guys the original rebar fridge. Like this actually pisses me off. Look at this, this is the original rebar. Boom, boom, missing, missing. Boom, boom, missing, missing. Now, it's our our job to go ahead and hunt for some bolts. Do you know what I'm saying? Where it kind of like postpones the job right now. Kinda, whatever, whatever. Guys, right now what we're gonna do is go ahead and test fit the fender. Um, just kind of slap it on there and test fit that hood, put that hood on there and just kind of see what the gaps look like. Just, just for a rough draft. And yeah, we'll see if we can get those bolts in time. If not, then we're gonna have to do that all in the next episode, do the final work, because we already did a lot of work in this episode. So stay tuned, let's get that fender swapped out or put on and that hood swapped out. We got all new OEM parts, things should align good. And hopefully this apron right over here, this apron is straight, hopefully. Fingers crossed, it's frozen, I can't even cross my fingers. Anyways, let's go. Well, that's a series of unfortunate events. Basically, both the hinges are broken. As you guys can tell, it starts overlapping here, big gap here, and funky, huge gap here. Um, I don't know, I don't know. Look at that, same exact thing here, huge gap here, this and that. I try to adjust as much as I can, play with it back and forth, and nothing. And then to finish up the frame rail, we need to get bolts for this. So there's a lot of things happening that we still need to order, which is very, very unfortunate. And let me know any kind of pointers, anything on basically the hinges, because it's kind of weird how both of them are kind of like that. Anyways, comment anything down below. You guys have to say anything I should know. And with that being said, that's gonna be the end for the S4. But now, since it's snowed outside, let's go have some fun. We got a quad, we got the old hood, let's go sledding. <laughs>
my goodness that's actually so freaking fun the only thing is that this rope right here you kind of have to cut very very tight like around the trees in order for that rope to swing around and you get into places like that and those bushes down there but now boys let's go get the dirt bike out here let's do some wheelies yeah, yeah. let's go boys we're gonna let the dirt bike warm up a little bit it's a little drz 125 but it, it does wheelies and it's pretty fun so we're gonna have a little bit of fun with it Anyways guys, we're having way too much fun out here. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode. And if you guys enjoyed this kind of like behind the scenes stuff, we do a lot of crazy stuff. It's just, I mean, we let it slide because we get snow once in a whole week or once a week. Once a uh, year. Once a year for one week. So anyways, with that being said, thank you guys for all the love, all the support. If you guys want to support the channel, please go ahead and comment down below and buy some merch, like this video. And yeah, and I think that's it. Follow my Instagram. BYB Tim, I post a lot of cool stuff and I reply to a lot of people. DM me any questions, things like that. Feel free to send me any fan mail. Appreciate all the love. Oh, dude, that's supposed to be like that. It's a special, it's a special, it. special feature. <laughs> Basically, the fender flips up, and yeah. <laughs> no, the thing is, I mean, I can explain. It was snowing outside, you know what I'm That's it, bro. <laughs> That's it. Oh. Ow. So, game over. <laughs> We're going home. Okay. We should turn around. Turn around. <laughs> All right. Well. <laughs>